I'm here in Mexico and I'm always talking about the cost of living here in this country but today I want to do a challenge I want to see if I can eat for the whole day on just one dollar Very recently I was living in Vietnam and I did this challenge as well because Vietnam is very well known for its low cost of living so I went to the market there and with no idea whether this would be possible or not I was able to eat three meals including protein, carbs, uh, fruits and vegetables now that I'm in Mexico I thought it would be interesting to do this challenge as well I want to see if I can get healthy ingredients to cook all day long I feel very optimistic I've also shared my plan on Instagram asking my followers what I should eat on a budget of one dollar and I got some popular replies the majority mentioned lentils and beans well let's go to the market right now so one dollar is 20 pesos Mexican pesos so with this amount of money I'm gonna eat the whole day so 20 pesos for me and 20 pesos for my husband I'm going to the market that's close to my house that's behind my house and let's see what we can find there I usually come to this market every weekend to buy my groceries, fruit, vegetables, chicken for a week and I spent 800 pesos for my husband and I even though I'm Mexican and I know more or less the prices I don't know if this is gonna be possible this is gonna be very very exciting the minimum salary here is 141 pesos per day which is around seven dollars for many people sticking to a budget is a necessity even so eating for a whole day for one dollar might be difficult Well, as I said, I need to buy some protein, vegetables and fruit. So I think here I can buy some protein. So let's see. Tengo que gastar 20 pesos al día, pero incluyendo fruta, verdura, todo eso. Entonces aquí quiero comprar como avena, frijol y arroz. Pero 20 pesos? Menos de 20, no sé, unos 15, se podrá. Nada más sería una avena. You can see I convinced the lady to uh, sell just 250 grams of uh, beans. ¿Se podrá un cuartito de arroz? Por favor. Serían 15 pesos de las dos cosas. Sí. And I also bought 250 grams of rice. For all this, 15 pesos. I already have some protein and carbs. I think I need to buy some vegetable fruits and for our breakfast, maybe some oats. So let's go. Then we went to another store and we told the man at the store our plan. He was kind enough to tell us how to achieve our goal for the day. ¿Qué me recomienda para comer como por un día? Sería un jitomate, una manzana, un plátano, una papa, una guayaba, tortillas. Tortillas, ajá. Unos dos chilitos. Para que pique. Y nos abrieran unos dos pesos. Unos sí. frijoles o algo para... Frijolitos y el piquito de gallo que se hace con eso. Ah, un sí. de gallo. Un piquito sí, de bien. gallo se le pone arriba. Y ya se, se va buscando la manera. Bueno, ¿Sí? se me gusta okay. el plan, sí. Entonces, sí, 10 sí. pesos aquí si sí. podemos gastar. Sí, sí. He was so helpful and kind that I'm thinking about buying my groceries from him from now on. Oh my god, it smells so good here. I haven't had breakfast, so I'm very, very hungry. It's a shame because I can't eat this. Uh, so I have to stick to my budget. So let's continue. 
I sort of enjoy doing these challenges because maybe I'm spending too much on food. This way I can see what's a necessity and what's a luxury. Ahí van cuatro pesos. Con, con cuatro pesos. Para darte lentejas y todo eso. Mm, con lentejas. Gracias. This man was very kind. He sold four pesos of oats and three pesos of lentils. And we'll still have four, five, six pesos. I think we should buy tortillas. I think it's important to mention that I'm not buying instant food. I think that's cheating and also unhealthy. So everything I'm buying, I'm gonna cook it by myself. I have my tortilla, five pesos. I think it's a good deal. I think that went better than I thought and I still have one peso. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think I can't buy anything with this. So let's go home and let's see what I can do with everything I bought. Look at everything I bought for 40 pesos. It's a lot of food. I have here my oats. This is gonna be for my breakfast. Beans, as you can see there are loads of beans, rice, lentils, tortillas of course. Tortillas is one of the basic foods here in Mexico, so I bought uh, 5 pesos. In this part I have the vegetables and fruit. It's a lot of food, but if I remember, when I did this challenge in Vietnam, I was able to buy even more food, including vegetables and fruit. And for our breakfast, we're going to eat a bunny, or? For one dollar. I'm gonna be eating oats and bananas for breakfast. I'm gonna put some water, then oats, and that's basically my breakfast. Wow, I can see it's a lot of oats, more than we usually eat. Four pesos worth of oats is a lot. It's not bad. It's a little bit boring, but it's healthy. As you know, beans take a long time to cook, so I'm gonna put, start putting the beans in this pot. Uh, so to have it ready for, I don't know yet, for lunch or dinner. Actually, I think there are loads of beans as well. And you have to be careful with the beans because sometimes you'll find some stones. So that's why I'm choosing my beans carefully. As you saw, making this video was very cheap. That's why I want to thank my Patreon community who financed this video. I want to share a lot of things about Mexico and the support of my patrons gives me more options of what I can do. If you'd like to become a patron, I'm gonna leave the link below and if not, by just watching this channel, you're supporting me. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, please subscribe and hit the bell so you'll know every time I release a new video. I'm gonna add nopal to the lentils. Nopal is part of our traditional Mexican cuisine. Uh, so it's a type of cactus. Very tasty, very cheap as well. So this is perfect for our challenge today. I'm gonna add the half only and the other half is going to be for, the, for dinner. I just want to see what we've got left. We've got two limes, half a tomato, half a potato, uh, half a nopal. But I already have the lunch. And also, we've got plenty of tortillas. We can easily eat a lot of tortillas today and we will be full. Well, here's the food. It doesn't seem very exciting, but it's a lot of food and it's also very healthy. We've got carbs, protein, and some vegetables. I think I'm gonna be full. The best way to eat it, of course, is with a tortilla. Mm -hmm. We've already
already had a breakfast and lunch. So far it's going great. I think we still have plenty of food for our dinner, that's a fact. But I think there were some things we did wrong. For example, we didn't buy more vegetables and we still have a lot of beans and some lentils. So we probably should have bought only beans and more vegetables and fruits. One disadvantage is that in one stall the lady couldn't sell less than 250 grams of oats or lentils. So we spent more that we probably should have spent. The other mistake is that we put the beans to cook and we completely forgot and when we realized they were a little bit burnt. But we're gonna eat them anyway. <laughs> we don't have any other option and we want to do this challenge right. For dinner I'm gonna prepare some tacos and I'm basically finishing all the ingredients <coughs> that I have here and I'm gonna use my beans that we burned <laughs> so I'm pretty confident I think it's going to be good I still have plenty of tortillas so probably three tacos for each of us is gonna be fine Well, I think this is my favorite part of the day. Having some tacos is always a good idea. To be fair, my tacos look good and we still have plenty of beans. We've got three tortillas left and a lot of rice as well. It's totally possible to eat on a budget of one dollar. Everything we ate today is vegan. Well, everything we're gonna eat today is vegan, which is good because we're trying to reduce our meat consumption. Doing this experiment showed me that I don't need to spend too much to eat well. I don't think I'm going to do this too often, but it's a good idea to do it once in a while and more because we want to reduce our meat consumption. Even though the food was healthy, I have to say that it was a little bit boring. But I want to know, what would you have bought? Did I make the right decision? Did I miss anything delicious and cheap? Well, let me know in the comments. And well, Thank you again for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Karen and I'm making videos about life in Mexico in this moment. See you in the next video.